Hello 340 students, my name is Jennifer McCoy and I'm the course leader for FPEL 0340. I'm looking forward to getting to know you this semester. Before we start the semester, I would like to give you some ideas about what's going to happen this semester, what you need to do, and what your teachers are going to be doing. So here's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at online learning for you. What does it mean? We're going to look at online materials. That's your books and the work that you're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at your listening and speaking class, your reading class, your writing class, and your study skills class. So first, online learning. We know this is weird, but I'm here to answer some questions for you. First of all, how will I learn by myself? This is a good question. This is not a normal year at SQU, but you will not be learning by yourself. You're going to be working together with your teacher and your classmates. Your teacher has a plan and lots of materials, videos, quizzes, activities to help. Your job is to do the work. If you do it, you'll learn. If you don't work, you won't learn. We made lots of videos to teach you. Watch all the videos. You are responsible for the information in them. You will watch a lot of videos by yourself and come together with your class and teacher online to work together and learn. You have to be an active learner. Push yourself. How will I be successful? So number one, attend your classes. For live classes, log in early. Come five minutes early. Ask and answer questions. This is not TV. You should be an active learner. Number two, do your best work. Watch all the videos, they're important. They will tell you all the information you need to complete your work. Normally, this is information your teacher would tell you in the classroom, but now you can watch on video. During class, you will do work and your teacher will help you ask questions and give feedback. You're going to be working actively in class. Number three, communicate with your teacher. If your teacher sends you a message, answer, reply. If you have a question, ask. If you have a problem, tell your teacher immediately, right now. Communication is very important. If we don't know the problem, we cannot help you. Finally, take pride in your education. You should be proud to be here at SQU. In high school, you worked for your teacher and your parents. Now you are working for you and your future, so take control. Next question, how will I talk to my teacher? Your teacher will tell you the best way, and this might change during the semester. You will have some online, online live classes, that means real time. There's a schedule for this. These will be online. Your teacher will tell you how and which app you're going to use. Your attendance is checked for each class. If you're there, they mark you there. If you're not there, absent. Use email for communication that is not during class time and not an emergency. Email is a great way to contact your teachers. Your teacher will also have online office hours. You can make an appointment, you can schedule a meeting. Um, finally, your teacher will also communicate with WhatsApp, Google Classroom, Remind, Google Chat, something like that. Your teacher will tell you which one he or she is using. Please respect your teacher's schedule. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., your teacher will answer you. After that, they will answer you later. Uh, weekends, they will answer you on Sunday. Uh, messages at night and weekends will be answered when they have time later. Next question, how will I talk to my classmates? Um, you will talk to your classmates during your live classes online, during your online speaking assignments with WhatsApp and any other way you like. Right now you don't know your classmates. After a semester you'll be friends, uh, but you have to communicate with them to make friends. Your teacher will ask you to work together in small groups and as a whole class. This is a great way to meet your new classmates and also to practice your English. It's important that you practice. Um, if you want to get better at football, you have to play, not just watch. It's the same thing with learning English. Just do it. Practice your English. Where can I find help? It maybe feels like you're all alone because you're at home and your classmates are all over Oman and your teacher is far away, but you can find help in so many places. Your classmates can help you, your teacher can help you, the 340 student website can help you, YouTube always has help. The most important thing to remember is that you must look for help, be active, take responsibility. Your success is in your hands. If you don't understand, 
going to sleep will not help you. You need to find an answer.